Good afternoon everybody and I hope you're well. Um, it's January 2019, I hope everybody had a good Christmas and New Year. Um, this video is my EDC of 2019 and in truth is my EDC I've been carrying for most of 2018, 2017, 2016, okay? Everyday carry. Um, if um, somebody was to stop me in the street or uh, you know, ask what's in my pockets. This is genuinely what I will actually have with me, okay? I know um, there are EDC videos out there where there seems to be different kits getting rotated around. Some bits of mine, in truth, do, because sometimes it can be subjective, it can be according to the environment, but most are staples, and in truth, most haven't changed. There's been a couple of changes, which I'll explain now. If you previously saw uh, my EDC video, which I did around about 12 months ago, then this one might be a bit boring. But, you know, for those who are new to the channel, um, if you want to uh, go back and have a look at that video, more than welcome. Uh, there'll be a link underneath it. Though, to be fair, I'm all about moving forward rather than looking back. So uh, this is my EDC of 2019. Right, so we're back. Um, this is my EDC... Um, gear for um, 2019 so you say it looks like quite a lot if you haven't seen one of my videos before um, it looks like a ridiculous amount of stuff but i promise you this is carried on my person at all times and it doesn't go in a bag it is on my person so whether or not that be um, in my um, side trouser pockets or um, fleece pockets uh, if i'm wearing a fleece i do carry this at all times okay and there are a couple of um, things we see two of the uh, the wallets there i've got two wallets um, i'll come back to those in a moment um, and two watches, the uh, the Pulsar one and the G-Shock. Um, just while we're on the watches, the reason I have two is the, um, the watch I'm wearing at the moment is uh, a Pulsar um, chronograph watch which was given to me by my uh, um, wife and, and I've had it for a number of years, I don't want to damage that. So uh, this is sort of used for uh, work, um, obviously for going out, you know, it's a nice smart watch. The G-Shock watch is uh, a little bit more tough so for knocking around in the woods, for camping, for, for hiking, you know, it's a little bit more resilient. I, I really wouldn't want to damage this. I've already dropped this once and uh, I don't want to drop it again. So hence, so I use this. Um, the um, the G-Shock is waterproof to 200 metres. It's also got the solar panel on there, which means you don't need to put a battery in. And it also has the, the radio um, signal receiver on it so you don't even have to you know adjust the time at, uh, normally it's around about um, 0200 hours it'll receive a signal and uh, it'll set the time um, so it's never it never loses any time absolutely cracking watch you know very happy about I've, I've, I've had that for uh, well, coming on to I think about two years now so um, the wallets the aluminium one this is a more sort of a going out um, wallet if you're wearing jeans or anything like that or trousers or a jacket you know a, you know a wallet that's sort of quite big then you know this is this is better um hasn't got a massive amount of space in it it's uh, got seven credit card slots there and a concertina um, so i think it's i do believe it's rfid and it's made by that company there which i think's pronounced um organ or organ i haven't pronounced that right i know it so uh, you know that's the uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's not a very good translation, but that's the, the wallet itself, so I say it's quite very, very slim. The uh, um, the leather wallets I have, um, again, this was a gift, and uh, it's got usual things in, cards, cash, I don't think we'll ever be in a, um, a cashless society, so it's always a good idea to carry cash on me, and our identification, and a couple of other things. In there is a plaster or band-aid. Um, I also have a copy of a prescription for my asthma medication. I also have the little wallet tool there which you've seen before it's got the blade on there bottle opener screwdriver little ratchet things saw there stainless steel so it's never going to rust it just slots in there so it doesn't uh, um, damage anything else the face shield um, obviously for cpr use the good idea to have one of those as well so they don't take up any space whatsoever so they live just inside uh, the little preston pocket there and so, no, not a cashless society, so I carry a little bit of change, you know, for things like um, parking, which I hate paying for because it's too expensive. Um, but uh, um, I do keep some uh, change um, for that. 
and also with a little one as well so uh, you know if you're going out and you want to buy anything for them you've got a little bit of cash uh, there as well two phones yeah i know um new job new phone and uh, they've given me an iphone i hate iphones i'm not an iphone person i prefer my android phone but uh, that's an iphone 6s which uh, I don't know, it works, I make calls on it, you know, it's a business phone. Uh, personal phone, that's the Motorola G5. Um, I upgraded to that one from the previous Motorola one. You know, it's a good phone, it's got, it holds the battery well. I put a 128 gigabyte SD card in there, mint micro SD. You can put up to a 256 gig one in if you want to pay 80, 90 pounds for one. I didn't, so the 128 is perfect. You know, it's, it's not to store on music. I plug it into my car to listen to my music, save up in loads of CDs, knocking around, okay? And uh, it's on a contract, so I know I've got my data with the Wi Fi, because, you know, there's Wi Fi everywhere, but, uh, you know, it's always good to get a 4G reception and uh, it works pretty well. The torch next to it is the um, LD. 22 by Phoenix. I've been carrying that one for um, you know a number of years. It's the updated model that doesn't have the crannulated bezel, so it hasn't got the one with the jagged edges on it. Um, it is uh, you know pretty you know pretty people friendly. You know people get a bit bent out of shape with some of this sort of stuff. You know, and uh, I don't want to be accused of carrying something that's offensive. So yeah, it's uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's uh, it's a torch. And its prime pur purpose is a torch. Though I'm sure if you did have another use for this, you could. Um, it's updated, so it's um, is um, up to 300 lumen, which you're probably not going to see on the uh, um, the film there. But it's uh, it, the reason I went for it was it wasn't the most cheapest, but it was the most powerful that ran on um, two AA batteries. And I try and run all my stuff on either double AA or AAAs. It's just easy to get hold of, and certainly you know if uh, some sort of scenario occurred, you know you, it's easier to find these than rummaging around trying to find an 18650 battery when you've lost yours, you know, unless of course you've got a spare one. Um, I'm just going to move the phones out of the way uh, briefly, just to give a bit of space. Um, but we'll keep the torch there. Asthma medication, yeah, you know, it's one of those, deal with it. That's a reliever, that's a preventer, so I always have those. And incidentally, I'm going to do a video about um, sort of, you know, health stuff uh, at some point, but uh, I do keep a spare of each of these as well all right always good to have clean hands and uh, there we are antibacterial hand uh, sanitizer or hand gel as you see there if you can see it it uh, kills 99.9% .9 of uh, bacteria it's also pretty good for uh, fire lighting as well so it's got alcohol in it so it's uh, um, you know it's an accelerant that means that when I put it with the tissues which I carry and the lighter that I have, you've got basically a fire kit with the addition of the old chapstick. So a very very basic fire kit, and I'm basically it's, it's it's having you know additional uses for this sort of thing. Um, the Swiss Army knife, um, I've had this one for a number of years as well. It is completely UK legal. It doesn't lock. So it's perfectly uh, acceptable to carry this uh, within the UK. It is EDC, for EDC um, legal carry. All right. Um, pens. Obviously, I can note on the phone, but uh, it's always good to have a couple of pens. Uh, permanent uh, waterproof uniball and a regular biro. You just buy the ones that you're happy with. Um, I, I'm one of these people that always likes to have a pen. Uh, I find it incredibly irritating when people don't have pens. You know, just carry a pen. You know, it's it's worth having. It's, it's just me, I suppose. Maybe, maybe there's others. I don't know. Uh, right, keys. Obviously, let's just shift that out of the way. Let's see my car key. I keep separate from my regular keys because uh, I don't want uh, the barrel wearing all the key snapping or anything like that. It's just on a little uh, night eyes uh, espina. I've got a key fob for work. A key for work. A little uh, um, night eyes stick, glow in the dark um, stick. You probably won't see on the camera. Uh, you won't see on that, really, but you know the yeah, idea behind them. And of course, the rescue me, which is uh, if I just pull that open. Whoops! There we go. You got a seatbelt cutter on there and a window punch. If there's one thing that you buy, get one of these. All right, because if you're in a car and you can't get out, 
or your seat belt's locked, um, obviously if you have an accident, then use that. You know, it's far easier than scurrying around trying to find, you know, your Swiss Army knife that's fallen out of your pocket. Okay. Um, regular keys. Um, again, just for clarity, I just uh, covered those over. But uh, have another night eyes um, stick there, which is uh, great because again you can't see, but it is glow in the dark. Um, if you drop the keys, you can find them. I've still got it. The Phoenix uh, EO5, another 85 lumen torch, and one AAA battery runs that. So it's getting a bit bashed, but this is the sort of you know this is from carrying it around in my pocket for for years. It's always handy to have. Um, I've got a Data Traveller by Kingston there. That's a 16 gigabyte um, USB storage device which uh, you could use it for what you want, you know. Um, personally, this is really, really handy for, uh, um, if I take any, if I've got any photos that I want to show my parents, family pictures or anything like that, it's so easy to drop them onto this, take them around the house and put it into the machine rather than uh, um, them trying to use Dropbox or be emailing things across and so on and so forth, all right. The whistle, um, the whistle is still the same. That's the uh, Acme Tornado made in England. Um, if anybody's wearing headphones, just be aware. No, I haven't blown it too loud, but it does work. Of course, it either, these are never going to go wrong, are they? Really tough plastic on that as well. And the only new addition, you'll spot that there wasn't uh, my other little Swiss Army knife on there. And the reason is, is because I haven't got it anymore. I've taken it off for some other use, and I've replaced it with this little ferro rod. And um, this, um, see there, it came from uh, Polymath Products. It was one of their... Um, They've got so the prepper meat. They've got a sort of big box of them, and yeah, you can have what you wanted for you know. There was no charge, so I just had a you know I just had a couple. One for that I put on the keyring, and one that's in a um, survival tin. But so that's really good because that will just unclip like so. He says, "There we go," and I can use either my knife or I can use the uh, uh, wallet tool. So I've tested it a couple of times, but I've kept it on there because it's always good to have um, another method of lighting fires. And uh, I've got two ways here, all right? So that just clips on there like that. And um, that's it for the keys. Um, they're just on a little uh, locking SB in there with the Leatherman thing that clips to my belt. So, you know, stainless steel, the beer bottle opener and a little ratchet thing on there as well. So that's exactly the same as before. Um, yeah, so that's the uh, that's that's the EDC. I don't think I've missed anything out. Um, so uh, there we have that is my EDC for um, 2019 Pocket Carry EDC. Okay, everybody. So there we have it. That is my EDC kit for 2019. And in truth, I've been carrying it for 2018 as well. Um, it's just nice to just put a bit of an update on that. I do generally carry the same sort of um, things on my person. I'm not one of these sort of chops and change things around all the time. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, change it. But I found that there's staples there which do work and I'm going to hang on to them. The exceptions being the, the iPhone. Um, I've got no control over that because that's a work-issued phone. And of course with the keys. The ferro rods, great idea um, to have that on there as an additional way of uh, lighting a fire. They last for hundreds and hundreds of strikes, whereas the lighter would run out. And, um, it's, you know, it doesn't take up any space at all. So that just clips on there, you know, as you saw back in the, you know, the main video. Instantly, the SD Classic, the little Swiss Army knife that I had on there before, that has now gone into my camping kit. It's now gone into my uh, um, hygiene kit. The um, nice thing about it is, is it has all the things you need that you know, can do away with uh, two or three other things. It has the blade, it has the tweezers, the toothpick, the scissors, um, the nail file as well. Even a little screwdriver on there so for you know, any sunglasses that decide to start unscrewing you've got that kit there right with you. So that's gone into there and that's made that a bit more streamlined. And, um, you know, that's, that's basically it. As you see, I don't chop and change things all the time. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But, you know, there's staples there which, uh, you know, I feel work for me. But over to you. You know, everybody has their own EDCs. So, you know, any comments about what you put in your EDC 
kit yeah please feel free to leave them any suggestions if you want to put those down as well i'll do my best to answer them and if you are thinking about putting your own edc kit together just remember you know it's it's your kit it's it hasn't got to be you know like anybody else's it's got to suit what you want it to suit um, and your needs you know so uh, you know with that as always thank you very much for watching thanks for the support uh, to the channel as well um you know i really do appreciate it thank you to everyone who's subscribing to the channel uh, you know and liking the videos you know it's very you know it's very much appreciated um so until next time as always thanks very much for watching and bye for now